This video is going to look at recording your notes using the app Notability. And let's go into the app. And let's go and create a new note. So create a note. And the audio has a little microphone here. As soon as I tap that microphone, it will start recording what it's hearing. Uh, but you need to type it. So tapping the T to get the virtual keyboard up. If I wanted to handwrite notes while I was listening to something, I could, but the notes would not be synchronized to the actual notes that I was taking. So if you're at a lecture uh, at uni or, or school or you're listening to a speaker, this would be a perfect app to be able to have the, the uh, speaker saying whatever they're saying and you're just listening, taking an occasional note, whatever note you take, and you tap that note later, will we'll synchronize to what the speaker was saying at that time. So to demonstrate this, uh, I need to do what here, I've got a bit of podcast, which is on a, a, a lecture. And while the speaker is speaking, I'm going to take some notes and we'll play it back and see how it sounds. So let's get that back to the beginning. To record, I just want to be at the top. I want to be in typewritten, so I want the, the keyboard to come up. I'm going to start here. Let's start the recording. And, and then last, I'm going to start the actual course content uh, talking about an object-oriented design concept called Model View Controller, which is just absolutely fundamental to being successful as an iOS developer. If you don't get Model View Controller, you start building your apps in kind of a wonky way that's not in using this paradigm, you will be going downhill fast. It's going to be very difficult to be successful, especially as we start building more complicated versions of the apps. So logistics. Uh, the lectures work like this. Okay, There's two main lectures a week, and I break them up into Tuesday's lecture. I'm going to basically talk at you, show you some nice slides, go through some concept, concepts, show you a lot of code, but on slides. Uh, but I'm going to tell you what we're going to learn. Then on Thursday, mostly, let's just stop it there. So that you can just simulate. Here is a speaker speaking. You're listening to it. You're taking notes. So realistically now, when we play this back, the notes should um, synchronize to what he was saying. So we go up to the, to the top. And playback is here. So I'm not going to in the lectures. And then last, I'm going to start at the actual course. It's absolutely fundamental to being successful as an iOS. Turn it down a bit. Every time I tap a different place in the note, it's what it switches to that spot. So you can sort of see how how it works there. Um, let's look at it a bit more closely, make that bigger. So the more, no, the better you are as a typist, the more detailed your notes are going to be. But these red lines here indicate a, st a stage in that recording. So it's sort of like, you know, there was no notes taken here. There's somebody still speaking there, but there's nothing to, to link it to a note. Uh, the recordings icon if you like that recording went for 53 seconds so it gives you a, a date and a time it was recorded and to delete it you can edit it and, and delete it on the red dot and then done if you wanted to delete it uh, the volume so you can actually control the volume from here for the for the actual note as you're playing it and as i'm doing you can see the little speaker icon is start uh, as losing its line so there's no volume there at all now, up to the highest. Tune. So I can zoom in the tune. So I can can, can alter the um, the sound so I can have it tuned for both ears or left ear or right ear or zoom. Um, so you can do a little bit of adjustment with the tuning. Tap that to get rid of it. So you've got your fast forward and your um, re uh, replay. Can go up there to a specific spot in the in the notes and play it. Successful, especially as we start building more. Um, change the uh, the date, uh, the title. So if I get rid of that, 
with that cross there and give it a title so I know what the, the recording is of. Uh, I can change by tapping here the date and time to, to a little bit you know, modified if I wanted to. Uh, and then I can do another recording. So if I wanted to do another recording, that one's still sitting there. I can then go and do another one. It's still on the T. Let's record a new one. And as you're recording it, you can see the uh, the three dots there to indicate it's being recorded, and you can see the time and how much time of that uh, is of that recording is occurring. That will stop it, so I can stop that and play that one back to so select it. So you pick the the uh, recording I want to look at, listen to recording two, which may be on a different page of the notes. But, uh, done. So I'm going to go to look at listen well, to recording two, which is me speaking. And as you're recording it, you can see the. And it's, uh, it's quite a clear recording. There's the the first one. Now, if I want to export this, particularly if, uh, if it's a speaker or somebody where I really need to keep this, uh, I need to go into sharing up here and send it off to another destination. Now, you can send it anywhere. You can send it to um, you know, email it to yourself, any one of these cloud services, or straight to, to iTunes if you just want the recording. It'll, it'll send the recording straight to iTunes if you just select on there. Uh, if you want both, you want the, the notes, which will be exported as a PDF, and you want the recording, and the recording is exported, uh, you can uh, select both. So I'm going to send it to Dropbox. I need to say what I want to go. I want the paper, the notes, the actual notes, and I want the audio recordings to be sent. I want it to send it to Dropbox. It's in here. I want it as a PDF, not as a rich text file, and I want it to go to notability recordings in my Dropbox and I wanted to export there. So you can see where it's going, the folder to um, notability recordings within Dropbox and the audio and the paper. So you send that to Dropbox, that's processing. The longer you're recording, the longer obviously it's going to take to actually process it. So that's been exported. So if I now go to look in my Dropbox and I can actually look in, look in the Dropbox folder on the iPad. So we're in Dropbox and I've just got to select the folder, Notability Recordings. And because it's a large file, it's come in as a zip file. So whether we can zip it within iPad in the Dropbox app, have, a little, have to see. You can do it in, in our Goodreader. No, it doesn't work there. So I'm not going to be able to open it into Dropbox at all unless I unzip it. If I take that file and send it, open it in Goodreader, because Goodreader can unzip files. Intro Lecture Zip, I want to manage the files and I want to let's just pick the file into a lecture zip and I want to unzip it. Unzip. Intro lecture has now become a folder. There it is there. Let's just click done. We're finished managing the files. I'll have a look there. There's the two recordings and there is the paper notes. So it was one page of notes and they were two separate recordings. So I can listen to that recording because it should play in Goodreader and hit the first one and play it. So that's the audio and notes. Last, I'm going to start at the actual course that, content. It down a bit. So the notes, the audio works. The actual notes themselves are there. So you could actually open them into to Goodreader and do a bit more more um, editing or, or add some more notes to it, do some annotations. So those files are unzipped in Goodreader. If I want them to go back to Dropbox, so they're still in the folder, go back, they've been put into a, a folder called Intro Lecture. I can manage the files and take that whole folder and then upload it back to Dropbox because I have Dropbox set up in Goodreader. So back to Notability Recordings and go that way 
and I want to upload the folder back back up to Dropbox and then I could delete the, the zip file. Now, this is how you do it on an iPad. You could do this uh, probably a little bit quicker if you were on a, a computer um, but in an iPad if you haven't got a computer or you're not near your computer it's all able to be com completed using a couple of apps uh, Notability to take the notes, Dropbox to actually store the notes or Google Drive and, Google, and Goodreader to actually manage the files. So it's nearly done there, sending the file. It's only a small one. And close. Now there's the original one here. So if I, if I um, wanted to get rid of that one, I could delete it. But I will leave it for now. So I've sort of finished with Goodreader. So if we went back to Dropbox, there's the actual folder. So I don't need the original one now. I could get rid of that one if I wanted to. But there's the actual folder that we just did uh, in Goodreader. The recordings are, are all separate. The actual annotated notes are separate. And what, what it has done is separate the actual notes from the recording. So there is just a PDF page of notes. If I wanted to listen to the notes and the recording together, then I need to do that back in Notability where they do exist and coexist together. So I want to do that. To stop that because that's the other one. The first recording is linked to those notes are linked to that PDF. 